One question that has been there for the longest time possible is whether demons are real. Some say they are real, while others claim that demons are just a myth. Well, allow me to show you some demons that have been caught on camera. These are not your average ghost. No visitors allowed. This girl is making some kind of video blog about a drink where she got a surprise visitor. She was about to say what this drink was when she noticed the curtain moving as if someone was stuck behind it. Her first thought was to charge the intruder and try to knock them out, but when she got to the curtain, no one was there. This scared her because no one was outside or behind the other curtain. She was so scared that she shut the door right away. Still patrolling. A very strange occurrence was recorded on this dash cam as the driver was driving up on a few cannons. Out of nowhere, we see a translucent creature walking past the cannons. From the way it was walking, we can say that it was marching. Could this be one of the soldiers who died in battle? I'm watching you. In this video, some people look into this room as if something bad had happened there. Watch the mirror at the bottom of the screen very carefully. When the person with the flashlight, who is a woman, looks into the closet, the light can be seen in the mirror. But things change when the lights seem to flicker and you see the woman's face in the mirror. But there seems to be a dark figure standing behind her. If you get closer, you can see that it looks like it's touching the woman's face. It was as though the demon was watching the woman with the flashlight. Anybody home? According to this video, you can already tell it was at night. However, from the camera facing the patio, you can see what looks like a person getting into the house with a side door. But if you look closely, it does not really seem to be walking. In fact, it seems to be floating through the door. It even seems to look around to check whether somebody is watching. Who's there? Eric Gunner says that his house was haunted by a demonic entity. He has even moved houses just to get rid of the ghost or demon, but he does not succeed. One night when he was sleeping in his house, he was awoken by a strange noise. What could that be? Eric gets up, takes his flashlight, and starts investigating the house room by room. He starts with the living room and moves to the dining room. When he gets to the kitchen, you can hear him say that he thought he had the water running. He then confirmed that the faucet was closed before looking around. When he shines his flashlight on the fridge, there is something peeking out from behind it. It seems to be a woman's face, but Eric does not seem to have spotted it yet. However, a few seconds later, the mysterious figure was no longer there. He asked for some sort of test from the ghost to see if it is really there, and what seems like a woman's voice is heard. Later on, Eric seems to have gotten tired, and he decides to go back to his room. As he is walking up the stairs, he shines his flashlight behind him, and this is when he finally notices it. He sees what looks like a person looking at him from the corner. He breaks out and rushes up the stairs in fear. But what could this be? Time for mass. These paranormal investigators were looking into some supposed paranormal activity in this chapel. The chapel itself is said to date back to the 1100s, but there are those who believe that it dates back even further than that. Over the years, there have been reports of a black hooded figure moving around the chapel, and it is suspected to be one of the vicars who live there. And when these paranormal investigators look into this, they find the unexpected. From one of their cameras, you can see what looks like a dark figure moving into the chapel, but it later vanishes into the ground. After that, it seems to move along the walls as it gets further and further into the chapel. Another camera in the chapel then records what sounds like the footsteps of someone walking in the chapel. These footsteps are followed by what seems to be a banging sound. It is heard over and over again, and even some of the investigators are awoken by this sound. Could this chapel really be haunted? The last patient. These people were investigating what seemed to be an abandoned mental hospital when they came across something out of the ordinary. As they were looking at the side of the building, they zoomed in on each window just to see if they could catch a glimpse of something out of the ordinary. However, they actually do. When they face the camera on one of the downstairs windows, they see something like a head looking through it. However, the moment they notice it, it vanishes below the window, never to be seen again. Child wants to play. In this video, you can hear a lady talking about how her camera has a heavy lens and sometimes tilts down on its own. The camera seems to be pointing at the bed, but as it gets further down, you notice what seems to be a child's hand pulling back from the bottom drawer. However, could this really be a ghost hand or just a camera trick? Ghost on vacation. It is said that this person had decided to go on vacation in a castle. However, while they were filming their tour through the castle, something unexpected happened. 
From the video, it gets to a point where you see what seems to be a person walking down the hallway. However, this clearly is not a person, because whatever it is, it appears and disappears into thin air, as if it was not even there. Friendly Neighborhood Ghost From this CCTV video, it looks like a person is walking down the driveway. But since the person in this video looks like he's translucent, it is clear that this is not a real person. No matter what it was, it looked like he was carrying something, which could have been some shopping. At the end of the driveway, we can see it going away as if it had never been there. Could it be going to a ghost party somewhere close by? Headed home. This was clearly recorded from a doorbell camera, and it is not something you see every day. From the footage, we can see what seems to be someone walking on the street, maybe heading home. However, this is not really a regular person. As this person is walking casually, he suddenly fades away as he walks out of the frame. When he gets to the end of the driveway, he fades away into thin air. After all, he does not come out on the other side when he walks behind the tree. But what could this be? Which of these do you think is a hoax? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.